Hey guys, welcome back to the Great Commission Alliance Media Channel. My name is Chris. You know, today I want to share with you a scripture that's very special to me. This is one that God had uh, revealed to me at a time when I was at my rock bottom. You see, I was 23 years old, and on the outside it looked like I had everything together. I'd finished my college education, I had a nice job, but yet on the inside I was empty. I had no hope, I had no peace, I had no direction. Um, I was struggling with anxiety and depression and insecurity. And all this led me down a path uh, into uh, addiction as I tried to fill this emptiness in my life um, through drugs and other avenues. And I remember uh, as at that time that God brought me to the scripture and the scripture completely transformed my life. So stay tuned as I'm going to share the rest of that with you. So as I said, I'm 23 years old and I'm completely hopeless and completely sick of life. And I remember at that time I called out to God in the middle of the night. I said, God, I'm sick of this life I'm living. I, I, I don't want it anymore and I, I don't know what to do. I'm in a mess. Please help me. Please save me from this. And please show me what to do. And that's all I could say. And I remember God brought me to open my Bible. Now, just so you know, I had grown up in the church and uh, grown up in a Christian home. And so I knew all about the scriptures and I knew who Jesus was. In fact, I never doubted that Jesus was God. It's just at that time in my life, it didn't mean that much to me. You see, I wasn't ready yet to really commit my life to him. I had so much living I wanted to do. And so I wanted to go off and test the waters myself. And so here I was, I'm 23 years old and already I'm done. I couldn't take another day of this life that I uh, had chosen without Jesus. And so um, I remember that he brought me to uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. And it says this, it says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I remember as I read those words, those first words in, in, in verse 28, to come to me, those who are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. I, I, I knew at that point that God was real and he was trying to reach me because there is no other words in this whole Bible that could possibly explain where I was at than those words in that verse. I was so tired. I was so tired of life. I had so much yet to live, and yet I was miserable. And I just felt such a burden on me. I felt a burden for the things I've done and for the sins I've committed, and the conviction of that was sitting on me. And here it's telling me that Jesus is coming and saying, Come to me, those who are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And that was me. And I just couldn't uh, accept the fact that God wanted me you see, I felt like I abandoned him. I turned my back and I lived my own selfish life, did whatever I wanted to do. And so I didn't feel worthy to come back to God. I didn't feel worthy to come to Jesus. I felt like I had to get things together first. And the ir irony of it is, is that we have no way of getting it together without him. I have nothing to offer you except that I will follow you, that I want you to be Lord and Savior in my life. And I want you to be leader and help direct me and direct my paths. And, um, and I'll never forget, you know, that that moment, that heavy, that heaviness that sat on me of that sin that I just uh, couldn't get rid of no matter what I did, all of a sudden was lifted. And my life wasn't perfect after that. In fact, I had um, a long way to go. I still had to deal with the circumstances that I was in and the consequences for, for a lot of the mistakes I had made. But yet, Jesus was with me through it. And through it all, I still had this overwhelming peace and contentment and joy in my life that all these other things never could give me. 
And what I love so much about these verses is it talks about, take my yoke upon you. Uh, it talks about um, that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And if you don't know what a yoke is, a yoke is the wooden harness that goes between two oxen. And it uh, makes them stay in the exact step with each other. One can't get out ahead of the other as they have to go together. And so because of this, the load is, is equaled on both of them and um, they're able to pull a lot of weight. And as I'm thinking about this, it's, it just reminded me that Jesus wants me to walk alongside him and that uh, Jesus is willing to take the burden on with me as I go. Now, it doesn't say he's going to take it all from me. I'm still going to go through difficulty. I'm still going to go through suffering. But it says that Jesus is going to be there alongside, step by step, with me as I go. That he'll never leave me, he'll never forsake me. And that's a great promise for all of us. And the greatest thing is that this, this promise that he gives us is for anyone who comes to him. This isn't excluding or, or for certain people, but he says, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, all of us. So we can all come to him in whatever situation we're in. My encouragement, guys, I don't know where you're at in your life. I don't know if you've been a believer, but you've fallen away, or maybe you're struggling in sin, or maybe you're a very religious person, but you feel like you always have to do something to be uh, get yourself closer to God. Whatever that situation is, just know at any moment we can just stop, stop trying to figure it out or stop trying to run and just surrender ourselves to Jesus and accept Him in, in our life as Lord and Savior and walk together with him. So I hope this was encouraging for you, and thank you so much for continuing to join us. And um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel and share these videos with others as we want to continue getting God's word out there. Thank you, and look forward to seeing you again.